Thanks again to those wonderful bastards at NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Get 77% off three-year plans by using discount code Jared Bush at checkout. Hey guys, so you asked and here it is, my minimalistic dual OS desk setup. No one asked for this video. No one. Anyways, the actual desk is made up of three parts. The desk top, which is actually my old desk from a couple years ago that I removed the legs from and then sanded and painted because I thought the color looked like shit. And then I toss it on top of a couple of trestles from Ikea, which I think gives it a bit more class. On top, I've got a really nice leather desk mat. Um, I used to have a slightly longer fabric mat, but it gets gnarly pretty fast with like schmegel and shit all over it. And it's hard to clean. So I kind of splurged, went with the leather mat, which is super easy to clean, really comfortable on the wrists and looks good and haven't looked back since. Hashtag leather for life, right? That's that's what the kids say these days. Now on top of that desk mat is currently my favorite keyboard in mouse. The keyboard is the GK64, which I have a video on. I'll link that in the description if you wanted to check it out. But it comes in this gunmetal gray color that goes really well with the other space gray items on the desk. Uh, I've customized it with some Cherry MX RGB brown switches, which feel and sound amazing, and then replace the keycaps with the DSA HC granite keycaps from pimpmykeyboard.com. <laughs> You gotta love that URL, man. Anyways, I think it looks absolutely baller, and with that keycap and brown switch combination, it sounds awesome and feels like butter. It's just next level. The mouse is the Logitech G703. You might ask why I didn't get the 903 with support for wireless charging. Well, that's because I don't give a shit about wireless charging, and I don't want some big ass mouse pad with a cable coming out the back, so, you know, that answers that. But yeah, the 703 is dope. Um, I do wish I got the black and white model now, so maybe I'll grab that down the road, but it's wireless with a one millisecond response time equal to and better than some wired gaming mice out there. Uh, it's got some RGB aspects to it, two buttons on the left side and another button under the scroll wheel, which I've set up so that when I press that little button, it switches over to my custom video editing profile so that the two buttons on the left side scroll the timeline left and right. Uh, the DPI changes and the RGB lighting changes too to tell me which profile I'm in. Now, when it comes to my monitor, I've been using the Acer Z30 35p 35 inch curved ultra wide gaming monitor with the resolution of 3440 by 1440 for about a year now and it's awesome i'll link my full review of that in the description too if you wanted to check that out but yeah it's been a great monitor it's got a bit too much of an aggressive look for me so i might change it up in the future maybe for a desk setup 2.0 video if that's something you're interested in but connected via display port i can overclock it to 120 hertz refresh rate with a four millisecond response time it supports G-Sync and has internal stereo speakers on the back. Um, it pivots, it tilts, it does the C-Walk, it's got a bunch of default picture profiles and even some custom user profiles if you want and it's awesome to game on too. It's just a fantastic monitor. And I have it connected to my eGPU. Now, for those of you that didn't watch my eGPU video, which surprise, surprise, I'll have that linked in the description too, so make sure you check that out. Let me preface this a little for you. I use both Mac OS and Windows via bootcamp partition. On the Mac side, I do all my computing. So, you know, video editing, browsing the web, downloading things, all that shit. On the Windows Bootcamp side, I do all my gaming and from time to time use it for software or hardware that's Windows specific. Basically the best of both worlds, but Macs are shit for gaming. And I decided against building a gaming PC because I didn't want to constantly switch my mouse and keyboard back and forth. And those cloud-based software and keyboard mouse switch options like Synergy always have connectivity and latency issues and I ain't dealing with that. So that's where the eGPU comes in. Now with the launch of macOS High Sierra came the start of very rough support for eGPUs, but with the help of some eGPU communities, there's some pretty solid support out there to get it up and running relatively smoothly without too many bloody noses along the way. Let's just say some people's experiences have been a little smoother than others. Uh, the eGPU enclosure I decided to go with is in my opinion the best out there right now with the most features. This is the Mantis Venus in Space Gray. Uh, two USB 3.0 ports on the front, three on the back, along with an ethernet port and a SATA connection on the inside to install an SSD for expandable storage. It's pretty sweet. That being said, I picked up a 500 gig Samsung 850 Evo SSD to store all my games and shit on when in Windows and an EVGA GTX 1080 for the Win 2 GPU for all my gaming, um, video editing and like 
everything. It, it just makes everything better. And the cool thing about this setup, aside from looking clean and minimalistic, is that it's all connected with this one Thunderbolt 3 cable. That's it. So when I need to grab my laptop and go, I just unplug that cable. That's it. And for all that, I love this setup. For audio, at the moment, I don't use any speakers or even the monitor's built-in speakers. I actually prefer to use my Sennheiser 598CS headphones, which I just kind of hang off my MacBook. Um, they've got a great flat profile, but with a bit more in the lows, so they're great for editing video with and for music as well as gaming. And finally, getting to the last couple of items to complete the setup, I've got a 12 South Book Arc in Space Gray that holds my MacBook. Um, it looks sick, but the price is a total fucking ripoff. It's a curved chunk of metal for 50 bucks, but I mean, I couldn't find any Chinese brand copies in Space Gray, so I just kind of had to suck it up. And then finally, on both sides of the desk is these floor lamps that are made to look like vintage spotlights with barn doors. Um, the stands they come with are pretty shit, if I'm being honest, but the lights themselves look really cool. I have some Philips Hue whites in them, not the RGB versions, but I can change the color temperature, and with the barn doors, it all works together really, really well for video and gives this nice dark but warm atmosphere, which is sort of my thing. You know what else works really, really well together? Computers, smartphones, and NordVPN. NordVPN is offering a 77% off discount on their three-year plan so that you can browse with complete peace of mind that no one, which includes your pain in the ass boss and nosy roommate, will be able to peek into your shady and questionable browsing habits. But Jared, I don't have anything to hide or care about my privacy. Yeah, yeah, you do. And the protection doesn't stop at just your browsing data. NordVPN also has something called CyberSec security to block pop-up ads, auto-playing videos, and even blocks malicious sites. They even do something called double VPN so that your data gets encrypted twice over for that extra layer of protection. They've got apps for Windows computers, Mac computers, iOS, and Android. Uh, they've got a ton of various server options to choose from on the fly, depending on what type of protection you're needing at the time. So go give them a try and use discount code Jared Bush at checkout or visit nordvpn.org slash Jared Bush to get 77% off. So there you have it, my ultimate minimalistic Mac and PC desk setup. As usual, I have links for everything featured in this video in the description below if you wanted to pick up anything for yourself. But I hope you liked the video. If you did, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.